Don Juan's statements put me in a belligerent mood. I could not make sense of what he was saying. I told him it was gibberish. He mocked me and said that I didn't even have an impeccable spirit in what I like to do the most, talking. He actually made fun of my verbal command and found it faulty. If you're going to be all mouth, be a mouth warrior, he said and roared with laughter. I felt dejected. My ears were buzzing. I experienced an uncomfortable heat in my head. I was actually embarrassed and red in the face. I stood up and went into the chaparral and buried the pebble. I was teasing you a bit, Don Juan said when I returned and sat down again. And yet I know if you don't talk, you don't understand. Talking is doing for you, but talking is not appropriate. And if you want to know what I mean by not doing, you have to do a simple exercise. He made me lie down and took my right arm and bent it at the elbow. Then he turned my hand until the palm was facing the front. He curved my fingers so my hand looked as if I were holding a doorknob. And then he began to move my hand back and forth in a circular motion that resembled the act of pushing and pulling a lever attached to a wheel. Don Juan said that a warrior executed that movement every time he wanted to push something out of his body, something like a disease or an unwelcome feeling. The idea was to push and pull an imaginary opposing force until one felt a heavy object, a solid body, stopping the free movement of the hand. In the case of the exercise, not doing consisted in repeating it until one felt the heavy body with the hand, in spite of the fact that one could never believe it was possible to feel it. I began moving my arm, and in a short while, my hand became ice cold. I had begun to feel a sort of mushiness around my hand. It was as if I were paddling through some heavy, liquid matter. Don Juan made a sudden movement and grabbed my arm to stop the motion. My whole body shivered as though stirred by some unseen force. He scrutinized me as I sat up, and then he walked around me before he sat back down on the place where he had been. You've done enough. You may do this exercise some other time, when you have more personal power. Did I do something wrong? No. Not doing is only for very strong warriors and you don't have the power to deal with it yet. Now, you will only trap horrendous things with your hand. So do it little by little, until your hand doesn't get cold anymore. Whenever your hand remains warm, you can actually feel the lines of the world with it. He paused as if to give me time to ask about the lines. But before I had the chance to, he started to explain that there were an infinite number of lines that joined us to things. He said that the exercise of not doing that he had just described would help anyone to feel a line that came out from a moving hand, a line that one could place or cast wherever. Don Juan said that this was only an exercise because the lines formed by the hand were not durable enough to be of real value in a practical situation. A warrior uses other parts of his body to produce durable lines. What other parts, Don Juan? 